You take control. I know where it's gonna go. I want your love. I'm gonna love you tonight. When we get it up, I can't get enough. Oh, you got that love so freaky thing I like. Yeah, you can keep going. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on y'all? You're here with international journalist The Media Prince and today we're having conversations with DC Top 20's featured artist. Ms. Jerron, how are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing pretty good. So Good, good. Of course you guys see her, you're like, oh my gosh, she's freaking gorgeous. <laughs> yes, she models, but she also has an amazing voice on her. Thank you. So oh. <laughs> tell us about how did you start? In the artistry field, period. Before music, before modeling, anything. Before music? Oh, I don't even know if there is a before music. <laughs> music has been in my life literally since I was a tot. Like, it's always been. I come from a really musical family. My parents are always playing music around the house. So, I actually started doing music when I was about five or six. Okay. I started taking piano lessons. I fell in love with that. Uh, years later, I ended up joining my church choir. That was traumatizing. Um, <laughs> church choir did not go well for me. Literally, I was like that person that nobody even knew was in the choir. Really? That's how it was. Yeah, like I was literally like to myself. And then one day I got offered to do a lead in the mm -hmm. choir. And all of a sudden my teacher's like, oh, I didn't even know that you could, I didn't know you could sing like that. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's whatever. So <laughs> I ended up doing the lead, you know. And, and it became a hit. Uh, it was a hit in church. Everybody really liked the song. Every time the children's choir would sing, they'd be like, oh, do the, do the shepherd song. Do the shepherd song. Aww. So <laughs> I had that song with another girl, and that was awesome. And then later down the road, I finally just told my parents, this is around high school, mm -hmm. I finally just told my parents I really wanted to take music seriously. And they supported me 100%. And okay. they've been with me ever since. So. Okay. <laughs> well, who would you say some of your musical influences are? Definitely Whitney Houston. Hey. Hey. Definitely Imagine. Mariah Carey. Yeah, another legend. And Christina Aguilar. Another legend. Yes. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> so in terms of your music, how would you describe your sound? Wow. I've really been crafting out my sound for some time now. Mm -hmm. And I've really just come down to I really want to be able to say everything I've always wanted to say, but never really did. So in my music, you're really going to hear like real emotions from real situations. And hopefully that really connects with the audience. So when they hear my songs that are really up tempo and pop and they hear them happy, like hopefully they're happy as well. Or when they hear R&B, smooth, soulful tracks that may be a little sad, maybe when they're sad, they can listen to that track and kind of relate to me. So yes. my sound's going to be from pop to R&B and then hip hop, maybe if I'm feeling myself a little bit. So. <laughs> So, of course, we just heard you um, in the studio. Um, mm -hmm. You have an amazing voice. Thank you. I felt it. Where do you come? Where does it come from? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just bottled up emotion. Honestly, <laughs> like, I didn't really express myself that much. But whenever it came to music, like, that was home for me. Like, I could always just connect, especially since I play piano. Just really connect with my piano and That's good too. I do. I play piano, I play viola, mm -hmm. I started playing guitar, so all those instruments, those are all my babies right now. Oh. Like <laughs> they really help bring out the emotion when I sing. So it's nice. How important is it to bring the emotion out when you sing? It's really important just because it is my way of expressing myself. Mm -hmm. Otherwise people always see me and I'm always happy, I'm always smiling, but they don't really see anything else. So with my music, I'm going to be able to really tap into some things and express myself to people. And hopefully they like it. <laughs> How was that process like tapping into yourself and like just pouring everything out? How is it digging into <laughs> that place and sharing that with the world? Honestly, this past year, I realized that some of my best music comes when I'm like super, super down. Like the other day I was just so, oh my God, this, that, and the other. And I could really feel it inside me. Like you kind of feel it building up mm -hmm. and then I'll play a beat and I'll start writing and I'm like, boom. I laid it all out and I feel so much better. So that's, okay, okay. that's usually how it goes for me. <laughs> Would you consider music to be like your personal form of art? Definitely. 
I definitely would. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> now, aside from music as well, you do dabble in modeling as well. You know what's so funny? That is so new to me. Like, this modeling thing, I really just wanted to have constant content. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, well, I can sing. Well, why don't I take some pictures as well? So, modeling is kind of new. Um, I also act. Okay. Yeah, I started acting back in high school as well. And I went to the American Academy of Dramatic Arts in Manhattan and I studied there for a little bit. So, how was that experience? Ooh, being away from home. That <laughs> was hard. It was so hard. Never called my mom so much in my entire life than when I was in <laughs> Manhattan. But it was really interesting, you know, being around all that talent and being in such a creative atmosphere, like it really helps you as an artist. Like to constantly just be surrounded around the arts. It just really it really helped me tap into some things mm -hmm. and it also helped me realize how much I love music. Yeah. So then I ended up coming home and that's when I was writing and you know my mom has always been there supporting me. It's just been me and her and then I finally met some dope people now that are around me. So Okay, okay. <laughs> how important is it to create to keep a creative circle around you? Really, really important. The sessions that I've had thus far with other artists it honestly reminds me of acting. Like whenever you're given a line, when I interpret it mm -hmm. versus when you interpret it, mm -hmm. it's so different. And mm -hmm. it's the same thing with music. Like whenever I hear a beat and another artist hears a beat, the way that we feed off each other, like I never would have thought of that. You know, so it helps me a lot um, with my music and my writing. Okay, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So what's coming up next for you? Right now. I'm working on an EP Hey. Hey. <laughs> that I'm hoping to release sometime next year, but uh, within the next week or so, you're going to hear some material from me. So You heard that. That's exciting. Okay, okay. <laughs> so are you a hip hop fan? I am a hip hop fan. Oh. Uh, you know, I feel like you're going to ask me someone and be like, oh. So <laughs> I'm going to play this game with you. I like to play with each person I interview. It's called Either Or. Okay. So I'm going to give you two hip hop artists. Oh dear. The person you name, okay. their music exists, they exist, we all know who they are. The person you do not name, never existing, we don't know who that is, they never had any music. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Tupac or Biggie? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Tupac. <laughs> okay, okay. Jay-Z or Nas? Jay-Z. <laughs> okay, okay. Eminem or J. Cole? J. Cole. Okay. Kendrick Lamar or Drake? Drake. Okay, okay. Common or Andre 3000? Um, uh, Common. Okay, okay. <laughs> Let's do... I'm literally guessing at this point. <laughs> Sorry. What about Kanye West or Lil Wayne? Kanye. Okay, let's do ladies. Let's do that. <laughs> Shall we? Let's do Nicki Minaj or Remy Ma. Oh. Oh. People are going to come after me. Like, <laughs> Nicki Minaj. Okay, okay. Let's do Little Kim. Okay. Or Trina. I'm trying, you know, uh, let's do Little Kim. Okay. Let's do Little Kim. Okay, let's do Foxy Brown or Eve. Eve. Okay. I'm gonna go with Eve there. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's do, um, let's do. This is way harder than the other question. Gage Loaf. Okay. Or Cardi B. Why would you do that to me? <laughs> <laughs> do I have to answer? Um, you know what? That's so hard. I'm not even gonna lie. That's really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I really like both of them. So neither of them hate me. Um, I really like both of them. I'm gonna go with Cardi B because I've been working on learning a lot of lyrics to her songs. So when okay. she comes on, I can rap with her. So that's why I'm gonna say Cardi B. Oh. <laughs> Even though I cannot rap, do not ask me to rap. <laughs> what would your rap name be if you were a rapper? <sighs> Lil B. 
Hey, ladies and gentlemen, this was a little B. <laughs> little B. <laughs> Young B. <laughs> but no, thank you so much. No, thank you. Ladies I and gentlemen, <laughs> this was the beautiful and talented Jerron, DC's Top 20's featured artist. Thank you. A singer that's about to turn us all up. Let's get it. <laughs> I'm excited for what you're I doing. Really thank you so much. I appreciate it. Please <laughs> let us let them know where they can follow you at. You know what? You can follow me at Just Jerron on IG. So that's just G-E-R-O-N. And we're going to leave it at that because that's probably my best social media right now. <laughs> it's really, really lit. Thank you. It's really lit on there. So stay <laughs> tuned, guys. She's about to have an EP that's getting ready to destroy. And we're about to get some new music from you. Yes. Hey. Stay tuned. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys. This is DC Top 20, the media prints. Shout out by MOB. We out.